Hi, I'm Paul Wilson with Calibrated Power, home of DuramaxTuner.com. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to update your firmware and load BBX settings on your Spade, which is also known as a V3 AutoCal, and the instructions would be the same for a V3 flash scan. The first thing we're going to do is plug in our AutoCal to our USB cable and connect our USB cable to a Windows-based laptop computer. Now, I'm assuming you've already downloaded and installed EFI Live V8 software, as we will be needing that for this process. Once you're on your computer, you're going to open up EFI Live Scan and Tune. Once you open up EFI Live uh, software, I'm using the beta software right now, but you'll still have to agree to a couple of uh, licensing and disclaimers. After that, we're simply going to go up and click on Check Firmware at the top of the screen. Uh, if your firmware is out of date, you'll click Update Firmware. A message will come up that says waiting for device to respond and then downloading. You'll notice your AutoCal may flash screen on and off while this process is happening. Don't worry. And once you see the Programming Download button, you know you're in the home stretch. The last step will, it'll, in the last step, it'll just say waiting for device to respond. And then finally, everything will be green and you can click OK. You've now completed the updating firmware portion of preparing your AutoCal for tuning. You may still need to go and complete the BBX settings. If you do need to complete your BBX settings, I assume, again, that we've already sent the BBX file to you and you've saved it on your desktop or in a folder which you know the location of. Okay, to update BBX settings, we simply go over to the left-hand side and click on F5 BBX. Once this window opens, You'll click on the little down arrow next to Program, and then select Format Config File System. Select Yes, and, yep, and OK again. We now need to open the BBX file, so we'll go to Open, and navigate through your windows to find the correct BBX settings. This file name you see in the video may change over time uh, as we update it, but for right now, you'll select this one and then click on Program. It'll give you the warning that this process may take a few minutes. Click OK, and it will begin copying configuration files. Now <laughs> configuration files have been copied. You can click Close at the bottom. Your BBX settings have now been configured on the AutoCal. If you've already updated your firmware, you should be ready to load tunes.